Yo, let me actually try, cause I forgot just waited for this dude. All right. Okay. Alright guys, so this video, I'm going to be actually giving you guys some tips for Silent Heart. Now, if you saw my last video, Road to God Seeker, as you know, I did not know how to play Silent Heart. Okay, so I'm going to go on like stuff you should not do, okay? First of all, you should not randomly use your Monty, oh my god, your Monty Cotty like that, if that's how you pronounce it, I really don't know, but yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to actually abuse it, and it's so easy, like you can actually climb like so fast if you guys are interested in that type of stuff and i will be doing depths content and some other stuff so i'm not going to be farming chime and also i did make a new build to farm chime on but anyways yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to actually use it right okay so this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to m1 faint and then once they fall for the roll you want to catch their roll with the silent heart uppercut okay so watch this faint and then catch his roll just like that and then you just want to repeat that it's it's so easy to actually like but yeah last video i was doing chime at like 4 a.m and i was i don't even know how i was climbing i wasn't even him with the ankle cutter you do not want to randomly use it like that, okay? Using it like that will get you punished. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use it once more. Once he falls for it, for a faint, I'm going to use it right after. Watch this. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can get a match of twos here. Also, yo, big thanks to Trinity Man because he actually gave me tips on how to play Silent Heart. A ton of people as well, but Trinity Man actually like went full in detail with it. So big thanks to him. And I did make a new heavy All the Dead Gods build for Chime, which is doing crazy, bro. But yeah, just play up close, get Dread Fighter. Because way back, bro, before I legit picked up the Oath, I just went straight into Chime, guys. But yeah, hopefully we get a match of twos here. And also, you can just M1 faint into Spine Cutter too. You can use Spine Cutter up close. Now, I'm just fighting up close and I'm predicting their rolls, punishing them with Spine Cutter and the uppercut. Bro, I gotta help them out, bro. Like, how are you gonna start a 1v1 and then start dipping, bro? Oh, he already got that. All right, nice. All right, I'm gonna see if this Silent Heart wants the 1v1. Oh, I can't even type. All right, I think this guy's getting the message. Yeah, he is. All right, I'm going to just hit him. Okay, I cannot lose this fight because he's probably going to grip me because he doesn't know I'm, like, playing around. But, uh, yeah. And I, I just got to say this, bro. Everyone in the comments, well, it wasn't even those many people. Let me not. But it's some people in the comments talking about, oh, my God, he's using bombs. Bro, it's in the game. Like, who else is supposed to use it? Just have it in the game for no reason? Like, bro. Like, literally, play with, like, tactics and stuff. Let me actually use my, uh thing right because this is like a guide uh video you see how, how i'm just punishing them every time they roll watch this boom it's pretty free but now guys i'm on a training arc right now because a lot of times like most of the reasons why i take damage is just because i get punished for being like super aggressive and i'm just not timing my attacks right so i just get punished for the end lag and By the way, guys, the reason why, like, we are both kind of tanky and do, like, a ton of damage is because we have all uh, those charisma talents, as you, oh, GG. But, yeah, because he's saying those things, he has unnecessary theatrics, and he can proc tough love on his critical attacks and stuff. Oh, he's actually back. Me too, by the way, guys. This isn't, like, a friend or anything. Nice, he's hit with Dazing Finisher most of the time if it's not like Ilya or anything. If it's like Virginia servers, it's so good. You'll get like really good ping and chime compared to Overworld. Oh, that dude just got dropped so fast, bro. Oh, 
What? Like, how do you spam with silent? Like, how do you sound right now, bro? Average silent heart spammer. Like, okay, bro. If he comes back, I'm gonna actually try. Like, I will actually try because I'm not gonna wait here and he's not gonna kill me. Like, I don't care how many people he brings. I still can't type. We're still waiting, bro. Like, if he actually floods, I'm, I'm full on trying, bro. Like, time skip Inu is going to come out. If he doesn't come, I'm going to actually do a build showcase, I think. Because last time I did it, I did it for my last video, but I didn't really go into depth because I was really tired. So, all right. So, this is going to be the build showcase. And, guys, I'm going to just tell you guys why I actually have charm cast and tough love because people keep on saying this i kept on seeing it in the comments you're like why did you go charisma on a silent heart build you can actually proc charm cast make sure you get overflowing dam for silent heart that is a must have if you're going silent heart because you're going to be full ether chaotic charm is just going to make you tanky charm cast and i can proc charm cast i will tell you guys this later on how i actually proc it but yes you can proc it as a silent heart like so many people in the comments were like like what is that build it, it doesn't make sense I, I will explain everything but yeah it's really good also tough love is just want to give you way more damage uh you could go willpower lose your mind if you want but the thing about going charisma you actually get charm cast which they're going to do reduced damage to you as well so i just went charm cast but yeah and this is the talent on why i can actually charm people that i fight and how i actually proc tough love so yeah it's pretty decent it's a good build uh i will actually use this build for overworld ganking and i will get gravity filled on this build gravity filled with dagger is insane okay because they can't really just try to move and outrange you it's going to be way harder for them so yeah and these are the rest of the talents we got all the dagger talents here it's a pretty fun build, I'm not gonna lie. Spine Cutter, Tap Dancer. That stuff just makes you really tanky. X on to the finish. But yeah, it's a pretty solid build. Light speed reflexes you 100% need. This will help you a ton with this build, okay? Because you're going to be fainting and you're going to try to catch people off guard with Ankle Cutter and the uh, silent heart uppercut mani kati or however it is but uh yeah golden tongue i don't even know how good golden tongue is like if the buff is really good that's I, I don't know cheap shot cheap shot with this enchant is it's so good bro you're going to be doing a ton of damage also speed demon is a must have but yeah going going charisma bro oh does it does really good damage i'm not gonna lie and we also have return to dark ages if you are a silent heart you like must have talent right there return to the dark ages because you're not using mantras bro that dude is dodging i just did a whole build showcase where's that guy at wait let's see like i i for real placed the base right in front oh he's right there okay he actually spun back wait is this a 1v1 here let me actually try because I for real just waited for this dude. Alright. Okay. Should I just kill this guy with M1s only because he called me a silent heart spammer? Actually, no, nah, let me just play normal. telling you guys time skip inu ain't no joke bruh oh man i wanted to fall this that dude but whatever oh that did like no damage oh nice hit him with the spine cutter too hey, this dude cannot touch me Bro, I for real waited and he's you know what? Nah, he got that. But yeah, that's it for the video guys. If you guys enjoy this type of content, like up the video, sub. 
he said he was gonna flood is there more coming or is it was it just him is no one spinning for him i don't think anyone's spinning for them Oh, I can't even, I can't type to this dude, but uh, shout out to that dude who's standing next to me. Also, let me know what content you guys want more, Depths Hero Part 3, or if you guys want to like still see me like uh, grind chime and grind leaderboard, let me know, because I can do either or. But yeah, I do have some dual progressions coming and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty interesting. And see you guys. If you guys want some fire banners, this is my friend's Discord. He does banners, thumbnails, GFX, all that cool stuff. But yeah, I know him for years, okay? And if he has a deadline on something, he will get it done 